to when it comes to some of those safeguarding solutions which are being used in those uh, in explosive atmospheres when you when you, you when you are trying to spec a product and when you're trying to um, understand some of the markings on the side of the product what do they really mean well um, part of the part of the engravings typically refer to ATEC specific applications um, certainly for ours where we do have that um, that market in Europe you might see um, this portion this portion of the engraving on the left which essentially means it is for use up to um, zone one slash two one in an ATEX rated environment, an ATEX certification, um, certified, sorry, environment for both um, gases and dust. IECEX is the right hand side of this uh, certification and, and, and these markings. Um, and the, the letters following this really detail the operation of the product and how it's been designed. Now, there's lots of different ways to protect against um, gaseous byproducts uh, that are created in these EX atmospheres. Um, we have designed to DB, which is a flame proof enclosure. But what this really means is when an ignition or if in a, in a rare chance an ignition were to occur inside the device, um, by the time it reaches the atmosphere, it's completely been starved of oxygen. And there's no risk from that flame. TVs all around dust tight enclosure. This is something that's very common um, with these uh, EX devices. Uh, so TVs, pretty standard. H is just a reference which is used for combining mechanical elements with electro uh, or electrical uh, elements within a system. When it comes to safeguarding, what you're most interested in is keeping operators safe who are going inside. Um, we'll put this in a bit of a pictorial example later, but where you really want to protect people going inside, you want to protect them from any restart of machinery. Um, you most likely want to have some form of proactive inhibit function when they go in. And if you have a proactive inhibit function, like a safety key or an extracted safety key um, or a personnel uh, key, should I say, where that's operating alongside an electro uh, or an electrical device and it becomes an electromechanical device, uh, the H is just referring to that combination with mechanical elements. 2C and 3C are relating to the um, uh, exposure to a type of um, gas and dust respectively. In the case of the product, when looking at ATEX type environments, um, this essentially means that the products are suitable for use alongside the highest possible um, risk uh, uh, um, uh, byproduct. So, where hydrogen is the highest or most ignitable gas, um, it is saying that the product is suitable for use with the most ignitable gas and the most combustible dust as well. This is a bit of um, information for when this is used in um, a zonal risk assessment as opposed to a divisional, um, where it is a zonal risk assessment, where it does use that IEC standard, this is where this next um, element of the marking becomes quite relevant. In North America, typically you will not see the, the T6 associated with this. You'll see a different um, value and we'll come to that in a minute. Um, but T6 essentially means the, um, the, the product has the best possible maximum surface temperature. And what that means is where it's exposed to gaseous or uh, combustible dust byproducts, you want to make sure that the product doesn't reach a temperature which can ignite the, that dust or that gas. So if the, the maximum surface temperature of the product is low, it means that it's better um, alongside some of those really low ignitable gases and dust. T6 essentially means um, it's the lowest maximum surface temperature, which in, as a bit of a concept is, is a weird one to get your head around if it's not something you're familiar with. GB and DB, again, for the gaseous and dust zones, uh, one slash two one. Um, this is where your, your combustible dust or your, or your flammable gas is quite likely to occur in normal operation, uh, but not continuously occurring. Following this, we see a lot of applications of um, ATEX equipment are surrounded by maybe um, wash down processes, maybe clean in place processes, and as such needs a, 
a level of uh, ingress protection for both dust and moisture. Um, the ICEX markings only go to IP67, uh, but this is why we have an additional IP69 um, uh, certification for this range of products as well. And this really means you can you can hose it down with high pressure um, washers as well. So it's it will operate in the most intense cleaning environment. And then finally, ambient temperature. Um, apologies for this being in Celsius, but it does give an ambient temperature of um, minus 20 to 60 degrees Celsius. Malcolm might uh, slide in in the chat as to what the equivalent of that is in Fahrenheit. You want me to work now? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 